Hi everyone, I just wanted to do a video. Um, Miss Berry Back is visiting with us for the week and I just wanted to show um, how beautiful she looks with my current Jujube diaper bag collection. I'm actually missing several bags though, believe it or not. Um, I'm missing my Vanilla Be Prepared, um, my Toki Perky Super B, Iconic Super B, and I have the new Toki Doki and Amelia Better Be coming and it's on its way to me which hasn't arrived yet. Um, but these are the current bags that I do have access to at the moment. Um, Jujubee Berry Squares is um, that purple print right there. And um, it was one of my favorite prints initially when I first discovered Jujubee. I do love purple. But for whatever reason, the Tokidoki Uniki print is not one of my faves at all. I do plan on keeping um, the Be Neat in the Tokidoki Uniki print. Um, I actually have all the Toki prints in Beanie's, uh, but as far as um, bags, I do currently own the Uniki Fuel Cell and Be Light, but they're still a new in plastic. I haven't even taken them out. I'm debating what I should do with them, um, but I do have an idea for future videos what I could possibly do with those bags. Um, so just to get started, I currently have the Jujube Berry Squares um, packed. We went, um, we took it to the Natural Museum of History in LA this past weekend and I just wanted to do a packing video um, with that bag. And I do plan to do another um, packing video as well. Um, I do plan to take my um, Tokidoki, I believe it's called Toki Dreams. TD Dreams um, print, which is one of my favorite um, Toki prints. Um, in the Be Prepared, we are going to Vegas this weekend for my husband's birthday, and I'm packing that bag for my daughter. And I'm debating if I should pack the vanilla Be Prepared for me, but if I do, um, I will do a packing video as well. And then I also have the TD Dreams print in the Hobo Bee. And then my all time favorite print is Toki Perky, and I have the BFF in this print. It's our everyday bag and it's my husband's favorite of the Jujube bags is the BFF and I also have um, the Super B as well in the Toki Perky print as well as some accessories. And in the back I have my B right back in the mint chip print. Um, I really love that print. It's one of my um, favorite non-Toki prints. Um, the mint is um, a very pretty color. So um, these are the bags that I currently have out. I do have a little bit of a diaper bag obsession and um, I should just also add a little side note that I do plan to do another collection video of all my diaper bags, including non jujube bags as well. And just a little hint, um, I might have a Petunia Pickle Bottom Sachet Satchel down there as well. So I do plan to do packing videos. I do have a purpose for each bag. It can get overwhelming, but I, I'm a bag lady, a crazy bag lady, and I like to use bags for different purposes. And I like to have various prints because um, they make me happy. Um, so let's get started on the packing video for, with the Juju B um, Berry Squares and the B Right Back bag. Okay, um, so this bag is one of the um, bags that is the traveling bags. If you're a member of the Jujubee um, Pink Room, Pink Lady Pink Room, I believe, um, you can't, this bag is not made in this print. Um, this bag does rotate between Pink Ladies. Once, in your, once you're a member, you can sign up. And um, it used to be, um, I'm drawing a blank now, I did host the rare, the other bag that they had rotating around and um, the reason why I'm drawing a blank is because I have mommy brain right now. <laughs> um, but I will post um, in the info box what the other bag was. Um, but this is the new one. Um, that bag actually that was previously hosted was very loved and falling apart and so they replaced it with this bag which is very exciting because the Be Right bag um, is one of my favorite bags. 
Um, and I love this print and it's very pretty to see on this bag as well. So I'm very happy to be able to host it and I just thought it'd be nice to do a packing video. So like I said, we took it out um, for a weekend, well, a day at the Natural History Mu of Museum in LA. And um, my daughter, um, just a little side note, she is um, almost, she will be 17 months on the 26th. So that's coming up already, almost a year and a half. And so we don't really pack much. I used to pack a lot. I don't know if, you, if any of you have seen my previous um, packing videos. I can be an overpacker um, because for whatever reason, when I ever tend to pack light, I end up regretting and missing something. So um, I don't pack as much anymore since she is a year and a half, but I do pack a lot of foods and snacks. So um, let's get started. So the Be Right Back, for those who are not familiar, is a backpack, and Juju B has really nice padded backpack straps that are adjustable down here, and they also have a nice padded back for support. Um, there's multiple compartments, which I love about Juju B bags. The material is also 100% um, machine washable, and it's Teflon treated, so it um, it's wipes clean very easily you need to um, wipe it down if anything spills on it. Um, so there's a back compartment here that keeps the change pad. It comes with a memory foam change pad. It's a decent size change pad. Tuck it back there. Um, there's a compartment here on top. I like this bag because it also has a nice wrap handle. It also has two metal D-rings. Um, all of GGB bags have all metal hardware which can make the bag quite heavy but it is um, very sturdy. Um, so, excuse me for being out of breath. I am currently expecting, so I'm sure you, some of you can relate to that. I do keep, um, it's like a hygiene pocket. Um, that I keep also um, items I want for quick access on this top pocket. So I do have one of those um, play pack grab and goes, um, which my daughter is now um, discovering her obsession with stickers that comes in handy during restaurants. Um, I do have a Buddha pod with um, Clorox wipes, um, Passy wipes, and some boogie wipes in there. I usually also have some wet ones, but we finished them all during this past trip. Um, this is my Jujube Berry Square Passy pod, and my daughter still does use Passies. Um, our pediatric dentist said it should be okay up until two years. If I try to take it away sooner, she might introduce other things um, which are not good for her teeth into her mouth, like thumb sucking. So, um, But she just recommends to use the passies mainly for sleepy time, whether it's naps or bedtime, um, not for sucking on throughout the whole day, which she used to in the past. So we do have it here because she can get crabby when she is tired and doesn't have that. Um, the bottle pockets on this bag are pretty deep. They are insulated with insulate. Um, I do have a Contique, I think this is, oh, it's a thermos. Um, sippy cut back here. This is about a 10 ounce cup. It's pretty heavy and um, it fits nicely in here. Um, on this pocket, I have um, an Inno Baby um, snack and plate or Pack, smart, pack and smart and um, this is a five tier but I condensed it to three and um, I just have some peach and blueberry puffs here as well as some graham um, cracker um, I believe it's earth's best snacks in that one here in the front of the bag there's um, jujube bags have some the felt line pockets here and you can keep your camera here I keep my cell phone for easy access in this pocket and I also keep a lip gloss. I don't carry much makeup with me usually um, but lip gloss or chapstick is a must. So those are essential for me to have. Um, there's also a magnetic snap pocket right here and the picture compartment right here. Um, I don't have anything in here right now. Like I said this bag is just with me for a week. Um, here I like to, um, for the weekend I did um, keep my camera in here. Now, um, this bag, the way we used this bag was it hung on our stroller with the metal D-rings. Um, so 
I love this bag because everything I needed to get to was pretty accessible from hanging on the stroller. So whenever we needed to take a picture, I just pulled the camera out and it was easily accessible. And um, I do love this style of bag um, out of the GGB bag for a long um, day trips out with the stroller, especially amusement parks. It's such a great bag. I do also plan to bring my Be Right bag, um, the mint chip one, to our Vegas with with us on our Vegas trip. So um, this compartment here, I kind of like for easy access again. Got my daughter's snack, more snacks. Um, I do have a plastic case. This came with, with some fork and spoons and chopsticks that I have out right now. Um, I just have this is similar to Mum Mums. It's um, an Asian brand I found at the Asian store. I have some organic pops. This can distract her when she's just really fussy and I need her to sit in the stroller. And then um, some organic Grammy Sammy yogurt filled sandwich bars, which she's loving right now. And then I also have an Earth's Best um, food pouch, an Enviro Sacks. Um, and then this is a Be Neat. Um, this print is um, for Folly. And I don't own any bags in this print, but just the beanie. And I believe I also have the quick as well. And for Folly is um, the butterfly print. These, um, like Jujubee bags, these bibs are 100, I mean they're machine washable. And they also wipe clean very easily too with a boogie wiper or a wet one. Um, so there's a mesh pocket here where I had the bean meat and um, I just have a pack of tissues. Um, there's a nice key fob. I love the jujube um, key fobs. I do put my keys in here um, for access. Um, there is also like um, this lined pocket right here. Um, I usually keep mints in here, but I do have um, right now a pocket vac here from Bath and Body Works. Um, I believe it's like a waterproof pocket, so that's a nice place to keep that. This is a sunglasses pocket. This does fit large shades. I did also keep um, my sunnies in here um, when we were um, out because um, you'll notice I don't have uh, my wallet in here. I do have a large zip around wallet. I did not put it in this bag. I carried a small crossbody with me, um, and then that obviously didn't fit my sunnies when it, um, the sun went away. Um, so this, my sunnies did fit nicely in that pocket. And then um, I do like the, not everyone likes the Be Right Back because the zippers go all the way down. And they just feel if they open the bag, everything will spill out. But when it's hanging on the stroller, I can just access what I need reach it like I need the bib, I can get it, close it back up, not a problem. Move the zippers all to the other side, access the quick, this is her diapering needs, without even having to take the bag off the stroller or opening the bag all the way down. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I will, or you know, even if you need something on the top for easy access, you don't have to unzip it all the way down. So for packing though, it's nice to have it open. It opens suitcase style. I'm not sure if you could see that. Um, in the mesh pocket here, um, I just keep things I don't need to access um, very often. So I just keep her spare change of clothes in here. Um, when she was a newborn, I kept a lot of spare clothes in here as well as bibs and um, burp cloths because you know when they're younger they just go through so many things but um, it's rare that she has an accident or ruins her clothes so I just have a lightweight change long sleeve she wears about 18 months now um, some pants leggings an extra pair of socks and then a wet bag for anything that's soiled and I just keep things that are not bulky that are, can lie pretty fat, flat in this pocket. Um, and so I don't have to access it very often. And then, um, so as you can see, I don't have this bag pack filled to the max. Um, I used to pack it that way. You can fit a lot more. I used to be able to pack a quick lying down vertical and then I can put a fuel cell here at top um, when I needed to carry more bottles for her or feeding supplies or my breastfeeding supplies. Um, but I don't need that <laughs> anymore. Um, so I just have a quick and this is filled with her diapering needs. 
Um, I do have a changing pad. This is from my Petunia Pickle Bottom Sashay Shatchel. Um, I do have a packet of um, some wipes. And then I have four size five diapers. And then the Burt's Bees Diaper Rash Cream. And then I usually, I'm all out because we use it over the weekend, I keep a, the, the baggies in here for the soil diapers. So, um, I did restock this quick from the trip, which reminds me I need to put more of those baggies in there. Um, and then for those of you wondering, this is in the Dizzy Daisy print. Which, I'm going to say it often, but it's one of my favorites. When I say favorites, it means it's going to stay with me <laughs> for a while. Um, if I'm going through a little phase, I do just kind of have it temporarily and then I'll sell it. Um, but yeah, this is the Quick. And this is an older um, Quick, so it doesn't have the 2D rings. It just has the, um, the handle on the side. So I do have um, an A&A &A bib um, just because it can double as a burp cloth. She doesn't burp or spit up anymore. She, I mainly use it for a bib or she is getting her molars in. Um, so she is drooling a lot. So just to kind of clean up her messes. And then... Um, there is an elastic place here. I'm not sure. Um, I don't really use it, use it. Some people roll up a blanket in there. Some people have their wipes in there. I don't think it's functional because this is the pocket that I put my hygiene items in. So if I use this, it's kind of hard to bulk this space up. So in this mesh pocket, which is one large mesh pocket, this is a quicklet. And um, it's filled with my mommy stuff. So I have a pad, some, I'm not even using these right now. Um, and then this is just a mint chip um, coin purse and then I use this as a mini first aid kit. It just has band-aids and a little neosprin to go. I have a notepad in here. I have a small bag of boogie wipes, more boogie wipes. Cause this bag, this quicklet um, basically goes from bag to bag with me. I have an EOS um, hand lotion. I have a brush with a mirror, which my daughter's hair is out of control. That's a must in my bags. Um, some a small package of wet ones, and then I just have some girly items here. Um, this is a Revlon lip gloss, and then this is a CoverGirl, one of those long-wearing lipsticks, and then a Mac lip gloss. So with a long wearing cover girl, I think to make it long wearing, you just apply this over the lipstick and it stays on all day. And that's basically it for this bag. I will transfer everything that you see here and maybe some more extras into my mint chip be right back backpack um, for our Vegas trip. Um, the reason why I plan to bring that bag is because I'm hoping my daughter will be in the stroller a lot on that trip just because we do plan to walk around and kind of sightsee, do tourist stuff since it's the first time we're taking the kids to Vegas. And so, like I said, I think the Be Right bag is the perfect stroller bag, um, especially if you're out all day. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, thanks for watching.